What's up, people? Glenn Lentz here. Welcome to Glenn's Reviews, where we look at comic books, TV shows, toys, movies, anything related to horror. You get my take on it. Today, we'll be looking at the movie Terrifier, which was showed at film festivals in October of 2016, but oddly enough, didn't get an official release on anything digital or physical until March of 2018. And I didn't see it until about a month ago on my Netflix which is probably the easiest way you're going to see this movie if you want to watch it after you hear my review. I'm assuming you could probably get it on like Walmart.com or eBay.com for like $10. This is one of those movies that was like straight to video and you don't hear much about it. This movie's f***ed up. Right off the bat, if, if you look at the font of it, like right on the, the title card of the picture and like what, what the main villain looks like, you get this like 70s horror movie type vibe from it, kind of like what Grindhouse did, where they're trying to remake that feel of those old types of movies. Even even the killer in this movie is Art the Clown, played by David Howard Thornton, and they want you to know that in the beginning credits of this movie. They really push that, because I think they're trying to push him as the new Michael Myers or the new Jason Voorhees, which, again, this movie has that kind of a feel to it. And even Art the Clown himself is kind of like one of those supernatural killers that just cannot be stopped. I have to say, the look of him is pretty creepy. To me, he's not as terrifying as, like, Pennywise from Stephen King's It or anything like that. But, I mean, the looks of the guy, he, he's about as innocent and inviting as a jar full of razor blades with, like, money at the bottom. It's like, you want that money, but you don't want to, like, go in there, you know? Hey, right off the bat, this movie doesn't have any deep story or thoughtful writing or dialogue or anything like that. This is straight up meat and potatoes horror slasher. Well, the story goes, it's Halloween night and this mysterious, you know, new supervillain horror icon slasher guy named Art the Clown just goes out and starts stalking people, murdering them. It, it, it mainly focuses around a girl named Tara and her drunken friend the night of Halloween. Art follows him into a pizza parlor and, like, gives Tara a ring he got out of, like, this vending machine for, like, a quarter. The pizza guy kicks him out because he thinks he's a f***ing weirdo. But it, it looks like Art wants to stalk these two girls the whole way throughout the movie. But uh, it, it just devolves into just mass slaughtering. Art comes back and murders the people at the pizza joint. Pursues Tara. It intertwines with a story where Tara calls her sister, and her sister comes... To her aid eventually <laughs> but it's, it's just it's an all-out slaughter fest with a few interesting characters along the way but yeah like i said it's not a thought-provoking story by any means that's like the best description i can give you without giving you like spoilers of the movie because if you're a horror enthusiast and you love scary clowns then you'll like this movie the effects are quite good like it's i don't think this movie's even rated and even if it was i think it's like an nc-17 there's nudity Extreme graphic violence, blood and gore. It's a, a, an extreme horror lover's dream is what I'm saying here. I mean, there's there's a scene where he hangs a woman upside down naked and takes a hacksaw and cuts her in half. Do I even need to tell you where he begins? <laughs> just just batch crazy. Honestly, they, like, they kept the pace going. It didn't feel too boring or too drawn out at certain scenes, and it didn't feel quite rushed. I mean, the movie isn't perfect it wasn't meant to be perfect it's meant to be one of these slasher films that you just you turn on on a saturday night just to enjoy yourself have a couple drinks just watch something incredibly violent and gory the acting isn't terrible either like our david howard thornton who plays art the clown actually does a very good job in this role he's really scary he's really ugly he's just he creeps you out you know he's just got that bad vibe about him and there's like there's not a lot of jump scares in this movie, just a lot of creepy parts in the movie that just don't necessarily catch you off guard, but if you were in that situation, it would be terrifying, and you can kind of put yourself into that mindset. Of course, a lot of the actresses in this movie were gave cringeworthy performances. It really wasn't the best. Like, there's certain lines of dialogue that just didn't feel like you'd be saying that in real life. I mean, none of the acting is very good, but it's passable for a movie like this. All right, this isn't a perfect movie. It's not even like the best movie I've ever seen. It's not the best horror movie I've ever seen. I give this movie a solid B+. It's not perfect, but it achieves what it set out to achieve, which is be a movie like Halloween or Friday the 13th. It's nothing like very thought-provoking or deep or anything like that for a horror movie. There's no like huge twists in the movie or anything like that. If, if you don't like scary clowns, like clown movies, you're terrified of clowns and you can't handle a lot of like buckets of blood and gore and stuff, I 
really avoid this movie because it gets pretty rough in quite a few spots. Anyway, that's my take on Terrifier. If you're a horror fan, horror enthusiast, I highly recommend it. So thanks for watching me. You can catch more of my videos at youtube.com slash Glenn Lentz if you're inclined to. Mistress Peace Theater, we'll be right back.